Welcome back to a tropical island adventure where everyone's an idiot, where the goal of the game is to do nothing. Too hot to handle the show that's honestly not that hot. It's kind of disgusting. What's that you say? I said I wasn't going to watch this show anymore. Well, episode three, <laughs> fight the dread, fight it, begin. Yes. Oh man, I missed this show. Honestly, a little bit. I kind of did. It's been a rough couple days. Oh yeah. Haley's a great kisser. Yeah. She and I wouldn't mind kissing her again. That's they the first honest thing she said. Behind. Everyone else is gonna get blamed, and I want to sit back and watch. That actually is kind of fun. That that's kind of a cool idea. It's stupid, but kind of fun. I know it's gonna be epic. She comes alive when she's hurting others. <laughs> What? They just kiss? They just kiss. Come on. Come on. Lana! Enforce the rules. I want everyone punished. There's so many things ethically wrong with this show. Is that Sharon waking up Rhonda? Hold on. Uh, there's so much going on right now. Can I get... I, I just have too much to say at this time. There are so many things ethically wrong with this show. By putting a financial value on intimate activities, you are basically doing a TV version of... I can't say the word. It starts with a P when you exchange money for intimacy. The second is this weird dystopian nightmare where everyone is being watched all the time and they are all watching each other too. They're all in the same room with cameras. That's honestly terrifying. I'm not gonna give you a shower. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this secret thing. But they still took time to put their microphones on. So that's BS. I think that if these people actually wanted to hook up with each other, they could do it because they can't legally be confined to this house. They can leave. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to hold them there. Even if they sign a waiver, I think it's illegal. I'm not a lawyer. Oh, lawyer Alex. This is all for the cameras. That's why they're wearing microphones. Duh. Duh. Oof, that hurts. The face rub. I mean, like, how long, much longer do you think you're going to be able to keep doing this? Longer than you. <laughs> I mean, I am a sex icon. You got all right, buddy. What the hell is that? Sleep That's a sex it. icon move. <laughs> oh, sex icon. Just control yourselves. It's not that difficult. I do it for free. Unbelievably, no one broke the rules last it's night. It's only been a day. Like, I know on. someone who will be happy about that. I will Lana. Into water into I'm so evil. <laughs> what I love about That's the first time I've heard her laugh, a real laugh. Wow. There's gotta be some separate motive they have, like they're being rewarded for it or something. It's just so suspicious. They're probably getting paid either way. That's my guess. Horny! Everyone's so horny. They're reminds me of Austin Powers. <laughs> Do I make you horny? That's so racist against British people. I'm sorry. First workshop. Yes, workshops. Hell yeah. Workshops will provide my guests with the essential tools to become authentically connected with This is what I'm here for, the workshops. Is it time for crying? Male crying? Shibari, an ancient Japanese technique used to improve intimacy and trust in relationships. I think having the Shibari workshop is so important, even though it is bondage, which can tend to seem a bit more risque. Of course it's bondage. Of course it is. Bondage? Of course! The perfect way to take your mind off sex, what? No, don't pretend. You know what kind of bothers me about this show? The producers set it up that the show seems very sexual, and the contestants seem overly sexual, and then the producers themselves try to distance themselves from that, like they're more self-aware, by writing about how ridiculous it all is. Like, the narrator's like, BONDAGE?! You're gonna do bondage? That's way too sexual. That's not a good way to make meaningful relationships. Well, yeah, no sh You chose to do that. You wrote that in. We all need sleaze in our lives. Sleaze fills an essential function in society. This is America. God bless. But, you know, don't play this fake-ass game where it's- Oh, you guys are so sexual. You're literally writing it <laughs> from start to finish. The hypocrisy. Bondage? Bondage? Of Ron and Rhonda. Chloe and David. Nicole and Matthew. Haley and Kells. <laughs> I feel like Haley and Kells is the worst Francesca. match. Uh-oh, I'm getting into the show. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This couldn't be better. Better. <laughs> Nothing's better than butter. What's it called? Shibology? Shibari? Yes. Shibari? Yes. Shibari? Shibari? Correct. What's the word? Don't, like, don't pick it up for Have being bad at English. Before, I'm bad at English too. Strength. Sometimes you just Duh. the words don't. How do you think they got picked for this show? Ready for this. How tight do you want things? How much pressure does this feel? Not good tight for you? at all. Like Take it off of bag. me. It comes in black. Ow! Finding your authentic <laughs> inner bag. The hardest part about the he got off easy. He just has hand bondage. No, that's not. That's fine. That's cute. No, it's not about that. <laughs> that's right. Good job, Rhonda. And I don't feel like he looks at me and just sees sex. You don't? Because really? <laughs> his tongue looks like it's telling a different story. Don't make me agree right with now. the narrator, damn it. I'm afraid, Joe. 
It Did it turn you on or not? Uh, not? Not massively. Oh, David, that is not what she wants to hear. You don't got to tell people I'm what they want to hear. You got to be honest as a man. There was a, a man. Spider-Man. Can't say you're Shibari masters, but you're definitely on your way there. I'm starting to like them a little bit more because it seems like they're actually having fun. I like natural. I like natural human beings showing their themselves. Definitely um, afraid of developing a soft spot for Rhonda. Um, I've had my heart broke. My, my ex left me for my best friend. Pain I felt. He reminds me of uh, Aziz Ansari. I don't know why. Something about his voice. There's no spark there. It doesn't really matter. He just met. So who cares? So I move on. There's plenty more days to focus my attentions elsewhere. Yeah, like your whole life. What's this called again? Bathing suit. Bathing suit. Wow. What happened to the TH sound in England? Oh, they just forgot it. They're like, we don't want this. TH, you can keep it. Bathing. And no one is expecting They didn't deduct money yet. Almost no. Yeah, time to d deduct money. Punishments. Is, if someone blames us, we need to laugh about it and not be defensive. Yeah. So I think we should be like, uh -huh, yeah. See, she's smarter than she so looks. Like, you know. The moment Haley and Francesca have been waiting for. What does Lana have in store? Punish for them. Everyone, Punish them. And money has been deducted from the prize fund. What? What? Seriously. How? What? So jealous. I would have loved to get down and dirty. Down and dirty. That's it. Nicole I doesn't get a lot of screen time. I don't know why. I'm in shock right now. He spat the strawberry out of his mouth after he put his teeth in. That's it. true. It was a waste. Waste of strawberry. I'm still mad about that. I think you guys are holding something back. They're pushing a little bit too hard now. Why are you so defensive? Damn, she's like going for the attack. I can feel myself enjoying this show. I don't want to enjoy it. I want to hate it. I'm too smart for this. I'm an intellectual. Me and Francesca are geniuses. Except that you just lost three thousand dollars. I mean, what are the chances? You gain nothing. You gotta understand. I've been so scarred from my past that it's just like I don't give Cry. people opportunities. Okay, I right. sense some serious trust issues. Someone get these two some bondage gear fast. Shut up. You've been hurt, and I get it. You've only been in one relationship, but I've been hurt too. I've been hurt three times. You've been hurt once. Yeah. So I know her, and you know her. I understand. It's not a competition, I Rhonda. I think people make this mistake in relationships where they see someone objectively is a good person and they think I should like them. It's just me, I'm not ready. Probably it's just a sign that you're not really that into them and you should just move on. Like, you're not gonna convince yourself to like someone. If you really like someone, then you just can't help yourself. You're gonna do whatever you need to do to be with them. It seems to me like he's not really that into Rhonda, but he feels like, you know, he should be because she's great and beautiful. In my humble opinion, I can't expect you to wait around and just keep chasing me. The, the truth is he's just not into her. I mean, that's I'm really what it is, bottom line. If only he would just open yeah. up, and he's just not into you. you Move know, on. Who knows, things change. Beautiful. Magnificent. I want to be on one of these shows. Do they have one for couples? Me and Kelly could do it. She's not attractive. I, I'm sorry. Stop hating. I'm not about to admit it. Wouldn't it be more fun if we as the audience didn't know who did it? Because it's kind of boring. We already know it. I'm just waiting for it to be revealed. I feel like I'm the easiest person to come, come at. So like, I just... <laughs> His face. Did you ever do it? That was good. Should we ask Lana? Yes, this scene is crying out for some divine. You can just ask. That would have solved things a lot earlier. Cone. Lana, was it Sharon and Rhonda who broke the rule? You can only ask yes and no questions. You can't just ask them who did it. Negative. All right, Lana, was it? Harry and Francesca. Why do you have to ask this way? It doesn't make any sense. What are they playing? Guess who? Do they have a mustache? Things are probably happening quickly in real time, but they edit everyone's reactions in to make it suspenseful and make it seem like it took a while. I don't, I, I'm not even sure Lana's actually talking. I think Lana's a fake piece of crap. I hope she falls in the pool. Affirmative. What was the point of that? If they can't keep it a secret. I don't regret doing it. I regret getting caught. I feel like they're writing the rules as they go along you for the show. They, did, they didn't have a plan. Oh, yeah. Damn, they just live in their own miserable island right now. Should we act like we're in love? I feel like Haley is the real manipulator. I feel like everyone's friends are having a great time except for Haley and Francesca. I love how they're all like... They're all in really good shape <laughs> already because they they're so like aesthetically inclined. Believe it or not, this bunch of misfits aren't the only people that need Lana's help. But will this clueless Casanova embrace a lust-free life in the retreat? This guy's a Casanova. Did I miss a workout class? He looks like he needs it the most. That's mean. I'm, I'm sorry. I can dance. I'm like the best dancer you'll ever meet. 
He reminds me of, uh, what's his name? Seth Rogen. I feel territorial, I don't know why. He has no idea what's coming. Not him for a while, that's for sure. Hi. Hi, Francesca. Francesca. Oh, oh good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, back at you. Oh, my God. After this crazy ass. Oh, my God! <gasps> Bryce! Really? Beep, beep. Sometimes people <laughs> are different on camera and off camera. <laughs> He's a producer insider. How much are they paying you to ruin everything? Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's friends. This guy. Go back to your boat and your stupid piano. I don't like this guy. I was having fun with my friends on the island until this guy showed up and ruined everything. Episode 3, I didn't totally hate it. <laughs> I'm getting to know the, the people a little bit. I just don't like this intruder into my island. Thank you. Let's do episode 4 right now.